All right, so we are at our rehearsal for the Christmas show. Yes, Audrey is going to have a big role in the show. And we are doing our first, like, outside of home rehearsal where we actually got the full band. And we are going to run things for the first time, like, kind of, like, really. So I want to do a little bit of a rig rundown of what we're using for the Christmas tour and take a little gear tour. Let's do it. So first, I'll be using yeah. 72 yeah, yeah, ES345. This is my new tour board. I just put this together last night, HXXL, and I put an even tight H90 in the loop. That is my wireless DI box, and I've got the Nordland ODRC that I used all summer. I'll be using my custom Ultimate Ears for my in-ears. I've got the UE Pro Lives. Behind me, this handsome gentleman, Oh, hey. The drummer boy. And you just got, well, right now you're rocking with the pads, but at the big show, you're going to have all the acoustic stuff. And you got this, this, would you find this outside by the dumpster? Yeah. You know, I was driving along and I saw this on the side of the road. No, this is, uh, this is a rope drum made by Loyal Drums, veteran owned, veteran made drum company uh, based out of Virginia. And uh, I had to make me this all blackout model rope drum and this is your logo obviously yeah matthew bauer so they blew up the logo put it on all black black hoop oh it's texture too you could feel it it's not yep. it's not a uh, coated over it's it's not lacquered it's it's um it's a varnish nice strap too look at this yeah i want to get the old military again. strap with their uh their logo stamped in there and you got a mesh head on this so this is their uh proprietary um drum head it's called a quantum head it's like an interesting mix of i don't even know it's it's like a secret uh blend of <laughs> proprietary quantum yes, uh, uh certain fibers in here it replaces kevlar uh it's, it's a so it's full head. military it's it's thinner it's got more sensitivity um longevity which is really kind of cool but uh no it's a very very cool drum and it's very lightweight so sweet and matt gets a huge feature in little drummer boy which this will be seen on <laughs> let's move on andrew has nothing exciting because he's not allowed to bring his real kit to rehearsal yet <laughs> so this will have to be it to be continued to be continued. See you on the road. Unless you want to pre what do you got with the SPDSX? What are we doing here? This we can cover. It's the SPDSX. Uh, the regular standard model. The entire show is pretty much programmed on here, um, which you can get a little quick sneak peek at our set list here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's our go-to. It's where we run our click out of. It's where we run our tracks out of. Um, without this, the show is, um, I don't want to say it's not as exciting, but it's not as full sounding. So. We just got to hope it doesn't break down. That's... Yep. And then this lovely gentleman over here, my father-in-law, Pete Chachi Calamara. Hello. He has kind of masterminded our whole in-ear rig. And first of all, bass player, you're using the Line 6 Helix. Yes, sir. What made you do that? I wonder what made me do that. <laughs> in joke. No, I just love this thing. They could hear you. Go ahead. Oh, of, of course, Steve programmed the entire thing for me, but uh, it's ideal because... Uh, no more carrying amps, and when we travel overseas, we've got the uh, Helix stomps. So basically roll up, I have my little Helix stomp, my wireless unit, and I'm done. That's great, love this thing. And now let's get to the exciting part. So we've got a whole big rack system here that I get a lot of questions about. Everybody's always wondering what we're doing for in-ears, for our wireless, and all this stuff. So you're the one that put this thing together. So what do we got? Okay, so we're running everything. This is basically our travel rig. When we're on the road, we take this with us and using a split, we just go front of house and to us. So the band is completely on their own um, in terms of monitoring. Everybody's got a full stereo in their mix and it's controlled via smartphones or iPads. So running everything basically is the M32 core, 
uh, which is this uh, single rack space unit right here. It's basically everything that the Midas M32 has, but in one rack space. It's run, um, of course, via an iPad when I don't have the physical console in front of us. Uh, this is a ta uh, Tascam DA6400, 64-channel uh, uh, digital recorder that I record all of our shows on. It's uh, connected in the back via MIDI cable. When we remember to hit record. Yes, when I remember to hit record, that has happened. Uh, and down here we have all of our in-ear units. Uh, we're using multiple Sennheiser units, even an old G3 unit. We have G4s, G5s, and we got a brand new Audio Technica that we're using as well, and that's um, completed kind of everybody. So all band members, like I said, had a full stereo mix. This is the RF venue combiner. Uh, when you're on um, in certain stages, the, the, the little amps, even though, uh, little um, antennas, I'm sorry, even though they're supposed to cover a range of about 45 to 55 feet, they tend to cut out here and there. So we got the RF venue antenna here. So this hooks into that and this, yep. what even is this? Um, it's just a combining <laughs> antenna. Basically all of the antennas that would have used to be live on the face of this unit. Uh, everything is now connected internally right into the back of the combiner. And this all runs down into this one uh, antenna right here, which gives you incredible coverage. And since we've been using it, we have not had any issues whatsoever. Yeah, I'm usually on the opposite side and I haven't had any crackling or anything. Nothing at all. And this is just the stage box yep. for the... This is the DL32 Midas uh, stage box. These, of course, are uh, monitor sends right here. We've got... Uh, 12 stereo air. Uh, these are our inputs. We're using an electronic kit tonight, as you saw earlier. So minimal inputs, but this takes care of everything out. And this is how we hear. And power-wise, everything's going through a Furman conditioner. A Furman conditioner. conditioner. And I have a separate Furman conditioner in the back that's handling all of the units first. And then it, they come into the back of this one, too. And then that's just our router. It's our router, yep. To hear a high-pitched noise is because somebody's tuning their ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's so pleasant. So the Audio Technica is here courtesy of our friends at Sweetwater. They're also sponsoring this video. They hooked us up and basically completed our master in-ear rig. We're using the Sennheiser body, which is incredible, Mike, but we've got on top a Lewitt capsule. This is the Lewitt 940 capsule, but this is um, gives you a, a studio quality condenser microphone on any basic handheld. And this just happens to be the. It's sound. a universal adapter that goes onto any wireless body. Uh, you don't even need the adapter for certain mics. Shores, you don't need it for most of them. You don't, but for Sennheisers, we did have to. And we adapter. did this on the Line Six one at work. Yeah, on the Line Six, you don't even need this adapter. It's just the, the capsule is screwed right on. It fits right in Shure. There's, there's a bunch of brands that goes on. But for Sennheiser, we had to get a special adapter here. But that's a Lewitt capsule. It sounds amazing, and the Sennheiser is, is perfect in terms of picking up and roll. Cool. Thank you, Pete. Go on. Then on Jess, we have her world-class guitar stand here. This is her custom Kiesel she got last year. And she's also going through an HX stomp. Imagine that. Ben Burnett, this one's for you because this is Jessica's stomp, even though it's mine that she stole. And that's just a uh, wireless is going through the DI box. We've got Kristen Cam Cooper here. She's checking people in. You look like you're working in an office. <laughs> but um, she's triggering all of the video cues. So this will be like the back screen of the theaters. And she's the one queuing everything up. And you're going to have a very important job. All my notes. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Look at this whole binder. You're the most prepared out of the whole band. <laughs> None of us have binders. <laughs> Oh, Matt's got a mini binder. I stand corrected. Stand corrected. Matt has a mini binder. So yeah, that is our rig pretty much for this Christmas show tour. Um, be sure to keep an eye out when we actually start the tour. I'll be posting videos from the theaters and when we're actually doing it. But I want to give a little behind the scenes while I had time here because when we're on tour, I do not have time to do this type of thing. So ask any questions below. I want to thank Sweetwater for sponsoring the video and getting us those audio technical units to complete our set. And yeah. We'll see you at the show.